Good evening. Tonight we are hearing from the father of a self-proclaimed prophet, Samuel Schaefer. He's the man charged with kidnapping the children, triggering yesterday's Amber Alert. Investigators say he and the children's father kept them hidden in a makeshift compound in Lund, Utah. New specialist Ashley Moser joins us now live with more. Ashley? Well, guys, now, now we know that all four children, the two boys, the two girls, have been reunited with their mother. One of the daughters is actually recovering here at Primary Children's Hospital. Not sure about her condition at this hour. As for their father, John Colthrop, and Sha Samuel Schaefer, his friend, the men police say le uh, hid them at their religious compound. Well, a person close to them say the public has got it all wrong. I just wanted the people in the Utah to know that they weren't part of a fundamentalist, uh, you know, um, situation. They weren't part of the main LDS church. The father of Samuel Schaefer, prophet of religious group Knights of the Crystal Blade, says his son's beliefs were far from dangerous. It was just nice meetings about, you know, the scriptures and stuff like that, but it was not anything that had any slant on any, you know, religious groups. He says his son was raised in East Carbon in Provo and served an LDS mission. He only recently moved to Southern Utah to practice his newfound religious beliefs. But where Schaefer and Coltharp lived and practiced is now under investigation. This is where police found Coltharp's children after disappearing in September following a domestic incident. The area where, where they were living are storage containers, the big, large shipping containers, have been there for at least a couple of months, it sounds like, at this point. On Friday, police arrested Coltharp, but he refused to say where his children were. It was then that Schaefer talked to his son for the last time. He did tell me that John was in jail, and uh, so I called the Vimpy County Jail. A tip led investigators to the compound Monday where the two boys were found, and a couple hours later, the two sisters also located. They were found in 50-gallon water barrels in sub-zero temperatures where police believe they'd been for at least 24 hours without food or water and not properly dressed for cold temperatures, leaving those close to the men with more questions than answers. I don't know why I necessarily had the girls by me. Um, they used each other for babysitting and all that. I mean, they were close like a family. Investigators tell us if they didn't find those sisters when they did, they do not believe that those girls would have made it through the night. Now, there is talk about if this was a child bride situation. Investigators tell us they are looking into that. And, Dini, both of these men are facing kidnapping, among other charges. Wow, sounds you. like a closer call than we even realized. Ashley, thanks. Tonight we're